Looks like I am live and not fully zipped up here. All right. So you might know this thing came out on X. It's about you know who. Let's just say it. Little Miss Mera, Little Miss Amber. And the thing is, it's a story about this intern, I think, who claims they spent this time with Amber. I think the full day or two days or something like that. But obviously, there's some debate whether this thing is real or fake, or some people say it's made by AI. But if it is made by AI, well, that's pretty interesting because then this is what AI thinks of Amber. So, you know, either way, I figured I'd take a look. But I'll let some people drift in. Things are slow these days. Although this video did pretty well, got like 5,000 views already. You know, things are generally slower. We got nine people. Anyway, let's see if anyone's here. Just me. I got me, my coffee, nine people so far. What's up, Liz? Nice to see you. And four dropped. <laughs> All right. I'm going to chill for like 10 minutes here. Just look at some other stuff, but we're going to get back to this. So if you're watching this as a replay, we're going to start soon, but let's just let some people get in. What's up, Astrid? Nice to see you. What's up, Petty? Nice to see you, Cindy. All right. Got some people here. Cindy, you're very smiley today. That looks good. What's up, Aaron? What's up, Nikki? All right. We got some 16. Sandra, well, we actually got enough to start. Okay, when I hit at least 20 people, I guess I'll start. But first, let's look at something Giant Depp Connected, which is, well, not exactly cats, but kittens. All right, wait, I mean, not exactly kittens, but cats. All right, what's up, South Florida? Nice to see you. Okay, so I can't play these clips because people actually copyright them. But see, these cats here, they move, wait. Wait, what's going on here? Nothing. It's it's frozen. Wait, it's frozen. What the heck? Is that moving for you guys? What's up, Angel? Nice to see you. Why is this frozen? Why is this frozen? All right, forget it. No cats. These cats are really fast. But anyway, looks like... I real Amber heard what I was doing in. All right. Looks like we don't have people here already. 21. What's up, General? Nice to see you. I'm taking one drink of coffee. All right, things are picking up just a slight bit. Ashton, thank you so much for that membership. It's a big help. There's a new membership video out. Should be one soon. I mean, coming up soon. I've got only one new one for 2024, but yeah, got to get on that more. What's up, Angel? So let's do a sound test. So let's see. Can you guys hear this? Internship to school. My name is Leo Spice, and this is my story. I met Amber when I was assigned to her over the summer during the Terramina Fall Festival. Can you At guys first, hear it? It's exciting to be part of the film industry. We're right. She told me we she was right. an actress. We're right. But Can I had never it? heard of her. No pun intended. I worked mostly as her assistant. It's a little low, but that's business. as loud as it goes right there. So, whoa, now it's black. No thank you. No black screen. Okay. So, what's up? Just a number. Nice to see you. What's up, Deb? I'm going to start this thing and I'm going to go stop it, you know, as we go and kind of break it down and. Let's just see who thinks it's real, who thinks it's fake. I kind of would like to believe it. It it sounds pretty detailed, and it doesn't really, I mean, you know, I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Hi. I met Real Amber Heard when I was doing an internship to school. My name is Leo Spice, and this is my story. I met Amber when I was assigned to her over the summer during the Terramina Fall Festival. Okay, so the person says he's an intern. Fair enough. I guess someone from Amber's company hired him. All right. At first, it was exciting to be part of the film industry. She told me she was an actress, but I had never heard of her. No pun intended. So he says he never heard of her. Hmm. That's an interesting thing to say, because this is long after the case. If he's ever heard of Johnny Depp, I mean, it'd be safe to assume he should have kind of heard of her, but okay. I don't know. What's up, uh, Laura? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you for the moderation. I worked mostly as her assistant and thought I could learn the business. She told me I would be getting $200 a day, and I thanked her for being so generous. She said, it's okay. It's not my money, which I thought was strange. Yes, kind of a strange thing to say. I've said things like that to my friends or my family. Don't worry, it's not our money. You know, joking, but I generally don't say that in a professional situation where I'm paying somebody or something like that. I've definitely said it, but not quite in that context. 
when you should be saying something like, yeah, it's, you know, my company or excuse me, you should be thinking something like it's my company. It's our money. We're putting this person to work, you know, let him do a good job with saying what's being paid. So that does sound funny to me, too. I had no idea what a nightmare this could be. The first night of Termina, we went to the premiere, although In the Fire wasn't showing. Amber wanted attention, so we got in a car and went to opening night. She was already slurring her words. Okay, well, that sounds like Amber right there, already drunk. But you know what? You got to also think, like, can he just see things she does and put this together and it'll make sense because some clues are already out there? You know, that's possible. To be fair, no one keep track of the trial news because he in school, so he focused on his studies. Right. I'm not saying he has to keep track of it, but he would at least just know who she is, right? Like, I know Kate Middleton is and Prince William. I didn't make a single video on them ever. I never wrote, a, I never wrote the take two. I never read a single word about them, but I know who they are. They're big in the news, right? Like before Megan and Harry and the content, you know, and I made the content on my channel about them, I knew who they were. I've heard of Megan and Harry. Got no idea who they are, but I've heard of them. So, like somebody who's interning in the film industry, I think would have heard of Amber. Just saying, man. You know, maybe not, because this is well after everything. So yeah, it's tough for me to believe. I believe it because there are so many strange details. You wouldn't make that up, but it does seem like things Scamber would do. Scamber, 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 Scamber. Take two, take three, take four. Scamber would do. Yeah, no, it, I, I tend to believe most of it. I think in some way or form this happened. Maybe he added some details to be funny or something like that. But I bet, you know, the core of it happened. Back at our hotel, she made me make her a drink called Redhead Slut. She had four of them. She said it's what they called her on the Aquaman set. Hmm, they called her that name in the Aquaman set? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. But what I was saying in my video was that they might have wanted to call her that, but, you know, maybe they were too scared to because she had these connections with Warner Bros. And probably people were kissing her ass on the set who were kissing James Wan's ass and, you know, whatever. I heard about this instance before, but only heard half of the first. Okay. I Well, I heard of the indie stuff. We have pictures of her with the Indiana Jones fans, of course. So what's up, uh, Marshall? And uh, let's keep going. We followed the cars, but they wouldn't let us through. They stopped us. She pointed at me and said, it's my assistant's fault. Can you just let us through? They said no. Amber started yelling at me for not having her credentials ready. We did have credentials, but they were level one general admission. She said to them, do you know who I am? Okay, this part makes total sense to me, and I'm going to start saying this. What's up, James? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I thought Laurel was supposed to be green, but I guess she's got blue for the mod there. All right, green's better than blue, but blue's pretty good too. She started naming her films. Syrup, Gully, Her Smell. More on that later. And the poor Italian said, no, we don't. Her sister was in the car, and she had these cue cards where she wrote Amber Heard with a Sharpie. But that didn't help. That's when I started to learn how low level she was. <laughs> she then screamed, Aquaman. <laughs> he says that with like no passion whatsoever. Aquaman. I could see Amber doing that. She goes around. People don't know who she is. Or they don't know what your movies. Excuse me. Oh, take two again. Or they don't know her movies. So she just screams, Aquaman. I was an Aquaman. Do you know me now? Look, Aquaman. Think Aquaman. Then you know who I am kind of thing. So I could totally see her doing that. Like, I really, really can. What's up, Lewis? Nice to see you. Like, this part here, I mean, someone could have made that up, but that just makes it believable to me. I could so see it, man. And their eyes lit up. Nicole Kidman? Right. So they knew who Nicole Kidman was. So they thought it was her possibly, but if you think for a minute, the age is pretty different, and yeah. Thank you for that uh, laugh, Astrid. I almost chuckled. Amber got so pissed, she said, fuck you, Luigi, and we drove off. <laughs> Not over. 
There were four entrances, and each one was marked with the names of films or VIP. None of those films was us. Then Ambie saw a crowd, and she said, pull in there. I said, that's not for us. It's for Indiana Jones. All right, so here we go. So we've actually got pictures of her with the Indiana Jones fans that we've seen for a long time. Now, either one of two things is true. Either this person saw that and put it in a story, or it happened and that helps prove his story. And when I saw it, I didn't realize they were indie fans. I kind of saw the hats, but I just looked at it quickly. I even used it in some videos. And now that I look back on it, she probably took that picture so people would see her smile with fans, not realizing they probably thought she was in the Indiana Jones movie. So it wasn't big, it wasn't great, but it was way bigger than, you know, in the fire, obviously. What's up, uh, Wizard of Ego? Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Carmen. I think you've been here for a long time. Nice to see you, Daisy. Daisy's been here a long time, but I think Carmen has as well. So, yeah, I could totally, totally see this happening. And he puts Amby in here, but he doesn't explain I bet that's a nickname he heard people close to her calling her who like her. It's not a nickname that, like, you know, someone who doesn't like her would say. It's probably something he picked up from her sister saying or something like that. So it could be a typo, but I think it's a nickname from someone on her side. And I think that further makes this seem a little bit more authentic. Authentic, authentic, authentic. Yeah, let's keep going. She says, I don't give a fuck. Pull up in there, or I'll leave you here and you can swim back. I had never been talked to like that. She looked like the fucking exorcist, but with uglier cheekbones. Amber stepped out of the car, and there was a look of excitement on the fans, but also confusion. They were taking pictures and cheering, but it suddenly stopped. Amber had a huge fake smile, like, I'm here. Whitney held up her stupid Amber sign, and our Italian co-star yelled in Italian, That's Amber Heard. The other thing I'm going to say, because there were some people who didn't believe this, which is fine. It, it could be made up. I don't know. Um, about 60-40. I think it's probably real. But, you know, I got to leave a pretty good margin there that someone made this up. But, um, you know, what was I going to say? I lost my train. I thought I was reading comments. Okay. I could see her cursing like that. Fuck you, Luigi. F you. F that. You know, that kind of thing. I could definitely see her going to this crashing this movie premiere for Indy or whatever it was opening for Indy. And, um, I, I could just see it, man. I don't know. It feels to me like it could probably be real. What's up, Lisa. Thank you so much for that compliment. I appreciate it. And I would probably like your comments. I like that comment. So, uh, thank you for the greetings, James, but let's, uh, move forward. No one moved. It was so cringe. Then our PR person yelled, Indiana Jones! And they cheered. Amber dug her nails into the PR person, Pamela's skin. And she said, just go with it. Right. So her PR person yells, Indiana Jones, to make it look like Amber's connected with Indiana Jones or something. So the fans would at least come just for a little bit, just to get some pictures like she did of them smiling. Yeah, just saying it makes sense. Amber found two indie cosplayers and took pictures with them and just soaked it in. They thought she was an extra. Then as we walked, you could hear the whispers. People looking her up on their phones and their faces turned to disgust. I thought they were going to kill us. <laughs> At that point, I probably wouldn't mind. It was a disaster. But again. that That's hilarious. I, I thought they were going to kill us. So, you know, stuff like that just kind of makes it feel like he was there. He like knew how people we're thinking, what's up, uh, South Florida? Nice to see you. So you uh, drift in before? Not over. After a fake photo shoot we took with Amber Heard and her co-star eating pizza on some stairs, we headed to the opening. Some producer met us and held up Amber as she slowly stumbled to the auditorium. He was handing out $100 bills to anybody as long as they let us through. At the theater, they stopped us again. She says she had a film at the festival. It was on the list, but they said, not tonight. So he mentions that she was drinking quite a bit, and we know that she drinks. That's not really, you know, in question. That's a fact, as far as I'm concerned. 
the more I get to know her, the more I dislike her. She's extremely self-centered. It seems that is to be true. Is true. Take two. It seems like that's true. Here we go. The producer asked if Amber can sit in the front row. They said no. You can have one seat at the top. Amber told me to go to that seat and start recording. I said, recording what? She said, the fucking stage, dummy. <laughs> and if you see me, point it at me. This started to be a pattern of my abuse. I got to my seat, and it looks like there's an argument. Amber suddenly starts walking to the front row and acts like she's sneaking in with a low profile. But her drunk ass was so obvious and loud that the audience said, shh. I recorded that moment that you may have seen by now. She sat down until another person came and kicked her out. All right. Yeah. Okay. So far, this seems like just a normal detail that probably happened. She just smiled and we all walked out. Not over. Back at the hotel, I showed Amber what I recorded and she was so happy. All right. So this part here honestly doesn't make a lot of sense. I wouldn't put it past Amber to want to, I guess, hook up with an intern but it just doesn't seem like she would treat him like that and then be like, hey, you want to sleep with me? I mean, I'm not saying she's going to make sense, but I don't know. This just felt a little bit fabricated to me. It's the sketchiest part. What's up, Jan? Nice to see you. Looks like you made it. Looking good. I like that uh, black and white picture you got going on. But we're gotta, we got to get through this. So, uh, yeah, nice to see you, Jan. She hugged me and said, this is perfect. She grabbed me by the back of my neck and she started looking at my lips and wanted to kiss me. But she had this constant cold sore and those two monstrous bumps on her face that she called cheekbones. She looked like the movie Mask. With <laughs> okay. That's a little extreme if you guys have seen the movie Mask. Well, actually, I'll show a picture because a couple of Johnny fans put that up there. So, okay. Sure. Honestly, she reeked of alcohol and desperation. Plus, her greasy makeup looked like you could make a painting with it. No way I was going to fuck her. She told me that I can sleep on her bed, and I said, nah, that's cool. We had two beds in this cheap hotel, and the sofa was my bed. I got to say, like, I'm not sure she would get a cheap hotel. Like, okay, if her manager was handing out $100 bills or whatever... And they'll pay him 200 bucks a day. They'd probably spring for a hotel that was like at least $100 or something. You know, just saying, just saying. All right. She insisted and said, I won't be using it. I thought she was being really nice to me and she was going to sleep with Whitney. I was so tired from our day and the hectic events. Just then there was a knock at our door. It was that older man producer. Amber walked out in her robe. I just passed out. The next morning, I hear the door open. Amber looked like trash, but very happy. Wit was already up. Amber said proudly, guess who's a new executive producer of In the Fire? Whitney yelled out, you go, girl. All right, so that's about it. So, yeah, I don't know. I tend to believe it, but we'll have to see more. I'd like to see this guy with some footage that no one's ever seen before, A, eh? or him on video or whatever. We need more than just text. Like anybody can write something like this. It's well written. It does sound like things she'd do. But, you know, a lot of people have gotten to know her over the years. So a good writer could probably put some things together and make it sound believable. It does sound believable to us because that does seem like her. However, it's not that hard. This isn't super detailed. It just kind of hits some of the right notes where you could see it being her. But anyway, let's see what some people said. So thank you, uh, Leo Spice. Well, um, what exactly... Let's see, wait, here... Yeah, okay. What exactly did Wino Forever... Does Wino Forever follow me, by the way? Wino Forever does not follow me. Son of a gun. All right, Wino. All right, Wino. Let's see. Wait, I'm very confused. How would she be made executive producer of a movie already made? Wasn't that throwing? Yeah, I'm not sure either. Right. Well, sound surgeon, the thing is, um, if AI thought that about her, then that says something anyway.
Because if the guy wrote it himself, he wouldn't really need AI's help. But if you had AI write it, that means AI thinks this about Amber from things that got in the news and things, which is pretty interesting. So either way, you know, yeah, I, I would, if I had to bet, if I had to bet money, if someone said, you've got to bet me $50 one way or the other, then, you know, what is it? I'd say, yeah, I bet it happened. Uh, Bernice, 16 months. That is crazy. Thank you so much. That's over a year. You got to get a shout out if I can remember. I forget shout outs sometimes. Please don't kill me if I don't, but I'm going to try to get your shout out. I just screenshotted that. So nice to see you. And uh, let's see. Layla says, wait, I'm very confused. How would she be made executive? Right. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe someone else knows more about the movie business. Yes, I have a second channel. It's not very big. I can't upload a lot, but it's there. And at some point, I'm probably going to make it a faceless video channel because those are huge right now. And I'll try to get it monetized because it's like halfway there. And ah, I got to get more up on that channel. I mean, from still images and audio clips from people in today's cyberpunk. Yeah, it's, but I think, I think um, the pictures we saw of the festival were real. So I don't know. I'm, I'm just not sensing heavy AI here. The voice maybe is a little bit suspicious, but it sounds like someone who doesn't speak English as their first language. Sounds like a second language, but someone who's pretty fluent. What's up, Zen? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. All right. So Wino says, Deppies, with all the new revelations concerning past incidents that are now being reported, I feel I'm in a safe space when I can share mine, my incident with Amber Heard. I shared this on Reddit, but we'll post it here. My real name is revealed. So please don't dox me. Well, he is claiming to have a real name there, so that's good. There are other incidents I will only post in the future if you want more. Yes, we want to hear more. Even if they're fake, this is pretty damn entertaining. Please watch the video as I narrate my ordeal in case the text is too small. I hope that me revealing this incident lets you forget about the trial and base the truth only on what I say. Maybe Variety will publish my story and I could start a podcast. Please respect my privacy at this time as this was very traumatic. I hope we all learn from this. Well, it does sound like things people who meet Amber say, that's for sure. Alex, I'll take things people who meet Amber say for $50. If you got that joke, you're kind of old. And I'm kind of old, but that's okay. I saw a video of Johnny and Amber at his premiere. She looked real tipsy. She kept leaning against him as he tried to push her to stand straight. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like this guy here might have put together a lot of things that happened in his story so it seemed true so yep i do have paypal also if someone wants to donate my paypal is you know pretty there pretty good i don't push it a lot what's up osaka chan you could jump on here if you want you come on a lot and yeah i'm open for a guest why not why the heck not i'm gonna chill for like another 45 minutes and i gotta make some other video maybe i'll make a wooten i don't know yeah, I haven't been going live a lot, but it's about time. Got like 50 people in here, so that's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Usually it's a little less these days, but uh, usually like 30, 35. But we got 50, so that's nice. See how long it holds. Almost 60. Stick around. Well, I'm a big nerd who plays, still plays video games, so it was recently a huge hack in a live game from Apex Legends, and I've been electronic grilling it. Okay, okay. I play some cell phone games here and there, but I try to really limit it because, you know, just not so much time. So anyway, here's the movie Mask. And this is what the person said Amber looked like. This is based on a true story. This guy has some kind of disease. And he has this face. And his girlfriend was like really pretty at the time, I guess. But she was blind. And there was a whole thing about it. And he died early. But anyway, that's who um, the person said Amber looked like. And here you could see the Indiana Jones fans, right? So the plan makes sense. Well, Susan, nice to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I, I'm not sure if it was good or bad or whatever, but I just know what it is. So anyway, yeah, that makes sense. So she's driving by the festival. Her movie's not being premiered yet, but she's like, look, Indiana Jones is. I'll jump out. They'll think I'm in the movie, some small part. They'll rush around me. I'll take photos smiling and make it look like they're happy to see me, even at the Indiana Jones 
uh, premiere, right? So the pictures make it look like, whoa, people are hyped to see Amber Heard at this premiere in Indiana Jones. They're forgetting about Indiana Jones. And it's about Amber. And the truth is she's just crashing it and tricking them into thinking she was in the movie because they never really heard of her or vaguely or whatever. I noticed that her clothes at the festival seem old and inexpensive. It seemed odd for her. Maybe she has less cash than we thought. Yeah, that could be. All right, Osaka, I will give you a link right here. So there it is. There it is. There it is. Photo bombing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She just kind of snuck in on there. And this is... Oh, right. Right, this is where the guy's helping her down the steps. These guys look pretty tipsy, too. You know, I got to think. And, you know, this is for adult ears only. So if you've got kids, put them to bed or whatever, because it's not nighttime everywhere. I think she was drinking some hot chocolate and playing Monopoly with both of these guys after the premiere or before the premiere or during the premiere. <laughs> Just kidding. Probably not during the premiere. We would have known. But, yeah. She was definitely drinking hot chocolate and playing Monopoly with these guys all night. Okay, I can't say definitely, but probably. And that's coming from good old e-hack who covered this thing extensively. All right. So I heard she's going to be a lot. Excuse me. Take two. I heard there's going to be a lot of these stories because victims now feel safe after reading Brave Leo Spice's horrific experience. Is there a GoFundMe? for therapy. And Wino Forever says, oh, thank you. I hope it encourages others. Do you think I can get her for assault since she effed me with her eyes? Oh, whoa. Part two. All right. Well, here's my next video. Whoa. Uh, we are in for a treat here, guys. Uh, what's up, Laura? Thank you so much for that. All right, so we're gonna do gonna do part two live here. I've never heard it, and then I'll make a video on part two, and hopefully that does good too. Okay, so get the popcorn out, get ready. I've got no popcorn. If I did, I would take it out. But uh, here's part two. Let's do a sound check. Excellent. Um, this is probably pretty new. Reposting that. Here we go. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I just found this. All right, here we go. Everyone ready? Three, two. Part two, the dinner party. When we got back to the States, things didn't change for the better. Amber had a house in California that most people don't know about. It was up in the Hollywood Hills, but pretty private. By now, I was on my third week working for her and no sign of a paycheck. Oh, okay. So she said that she was going to pay him $200 a day. And then he said he never got any paycheck. That's pretty interesting. Off to a good start. As a matter of fact, I often paid for Starbucks runs, lunch here or there, and dry cleaning that I thought was paid for. But each time I got there, surprise, customer said she'd pay when done. Now I became the customer. What could I do? I couldn't go back empty-handed. I thought she needed those clothes for auditions or red carpet events, but never. She just didn't wash her clothes. <laughs> okay. So now the claim is that she didn't wash her clothes. Does that, I mean, I don't know. I Maybe, maybe. And it's not just that. I didn't want to give her an opportunity to yell at me. Cause she was always giggling, being kind of flirty with everybody, almost too friendly. Then she would turn on a fucking dime, like that lady in Stephen King's Misery. Instead of Annie, it was Amby. When I finally approached Amber about being reimbursed, she said, I'll get you later. And it was always, I'll get you later. I'll get you later. But later never happened. I didn't want to make a big deal because I needed the internship for school credit. And I was really excited to be part of the Hollywood scene. But money is money. So one day I was more serious, and she laid a huge guilt trip on me, saying, What, you can't afford seven bucks for coffee, Mr. Big Man? Huh? I said, It's more than seven, and she interrupted me. Twenty bucks, whatever it is, you can't pay or spend twenty dollars on a girl, you big strong man. What the heck is she talking about? 
why would he spend money on her? He's the intern. She's not paying him. And $7 for coffee? Man, my coffee here, broken down by packs, probably like 40 cents. And it's pretty good. She was smiling and giggling. She started rubbing my arms and being all sweet. Then she slid behind me and hugged me from behind and rubbed her tits all over my back. It was a slow burn. Guys know what I'm talking about, but this time on my back. What? I felt every bit of those A minus cups because Amber never wore a bra. Okay. Well, this is getting uh, pretty down and dirty there. So, as he puts it, Amber rubbed her boobies, A minus, he says, against his back. All right. All right. That's an interesting detail. What's worse is her smell. Now, I don't like to talk about girls in this way, but how can I explain? She smelled like unfreshly caught salmon, potpourri, and Tabasco sauce. Unfreshly caught salmon, potpourri, and Tabasco sauce. Well, that's a pretty interesting breakdown there. I mean, that's a pretty unique smell. So if she didn't smell like that, I guess someone could confirm or not confirm or whatever. Very vinegary smell about her. And I don't, I don't want to know what was going on down there. It's like some people who have extremely bad breath. You can smell them from the next room. She was the same, but it was in her mouth hole that was a problem. She used to wear these juicy couture sweat bottoms, and she always had them on. You could see every crumb on her sweats when she wiped her hands on them. Every potato chip she sat on, <laughs> actual fingerprints, and I don't want to know what stains were both in the front and the back. I hate that I have to remember these things. One time, we were watching TV. She was sitting next to me while I planned my school calendar, and she started being really flirty. And all of a sudden, she swung up like some stripper and straddled her legs over my shoulders. Oh, I don't know, man. Is that... She... I mean... Ah, he's getting a little, uh, getting a little crazy here. Do we really think Amber would like straddle her legs around some intern? Okay, here's the thing, man. Like women naturally are attracted to men with status and money and things like that. I'm not saying it's superficial. I'm saying naturally. It's a natural instinct for being able to take care of and provide for a family. So. I'm not sure why she'd be attracted to this broke intern, but if he was good looking enough, there's always exceptions and things like that. Just, just saying, just saying, just trying to throw it out there. Play devil's advocate. I said, Hey, what the fuck are you doing? She was rubbing it all over my Adam's apple. And don't ask me how I know she wasn't wearing panties. She was laughing like a psycho and said, well, you don't like a hot blonde jumping all over you. <laughs> my intrusive thoughts were like hot where? And blonde, Deppies, let me tell you, she's not a real blonde, if you know what I'm saying. Oftentimes, she would walk from room to room with no bottoms on, like as if no man was in the house with her. I'm convinced I could have fucked her every day, and she wouldn't mind. And I probably would have gotten paid on time if I did. But that was no pond I wanted to take a dip in. She was fucking nasty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> he says she was fucking nasty, but fucking isn't even written there. He just added that in. That's uh, pretty funny. <laughs> Not every day was horrible, but some of the days were less tortured than others. Some of these events I may recall out of order, but every day that I mentioned was typical around this monster. I felt like her babysitter. She had no accountability, no jobs, and no remorse. The good days were only good because her Scottish friend Evie would come over a lot. You think I had it bad? There was a limit to the things I let her do, and I would raise my voice from time to time. Although she liked it, she would ease up. For Eve Barlow, there were no limits. Oh, wait, he's saying her, wait, wait, he's saying Eve Barlow would come visit her? And he doesn't seem to mind Eve, I guess going to assume there's a part three here somewhere. Evie would let Amber do anything that she wanted to her. I felt bad. She had the face of a hobbit, and she looked at Amber like she was a god. And Amber knew it. She would control her by giving her affection every now and again, and sometimes a kiss. 
I don't know if they did anything more than that, but sometimes Evie would come out of the room with Amber looking happier than a pig in shit. So maybe things did happen or Evie was forced to service her. <laughs> Evie was forced to service her. That is uh, pretty... Oh, how long have you been there? Sorry. Wait, say something. I can't hear you. No sound, no sound. No sound. Well, hold on. Just just wait a minute. I want to get through this. Hold on. I don't even want to think about it. I only had three weeks left to finish my college credit. But what happened later that month was the final straw. Okay. That's better. All right. Sorry. It was just right at the end there. Okay. What's up? Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Your Some voice is like more high pitched than usual, I think. Uh, I'm I have COVID right now. Yeah. Oh, you sound like one of those uh, anime characters or something. Uh, like very high pitched. That's not bad. It's just something different. No, normally, you catch my sleepy voice, and so. I've been sick all week. <laughs> Did you hear this thing? Uh, I heard part of it. I was trying to get my camera to work at first. Did you hear the first part? Yes. So just basically, what do you think? True or false? Just, you know, it without sounds, details. It kind of sounds like what she would do. She does look like a stinky person from some of the pictures that we've seen her. Like, <laughs> <laughs> when they do catch I mean, her off guard. You know, when, um, when Johnny said flappy <clears throat> fish market, maybe he meant like the whole thing. I think she was a lot cleaner when she was with him because she was trying to help uphold an image but like if you've seen pictures of her when she was dating um i forget the name of the guy he was like really wealthy like she dated him like i think like after johnny but in the picture she has like a big old rip in the side of her shirt okay her pants looked really like used mm -hmm. and she's wearing his really ugly grandma shoes um so i've seen several photos of her where it looks like she's worn her clothes until they literally like disintegrate Mm -hmm. So um, it doesn't sound like too far fetched from um, what he's saying. Liz is saying Elon Musk, but I thought Musk was. Oh, no, right. Was Musk after or during Musk. Johnny? I can't exactly remember the timeline. It wasn't Elon Musk. He was like a son of like a TV producer or something. Okay. Right, right. So, well, this one here got pretty down and dirty. So, I mean, the movie premiere one, I totally think happened but why was he hanging out at her house with like well if he was her intern he was probably getting her stuff ready for her because remember he, like the intern one was talking about how he had to get why did she need an intern why let him in why why did she, what if what the hell was he interning for with amber what the fuck could well, she, you know what I mean? according to the other the the intern or personal assistant that she treated badly and abused their stories sound kind of similar right but right the thing right. is she said that amber doesn't like to do anything for herself so she can get someone else to do it for her. And interns, also, most interns don't get paid because they're considered volunteered. Right, right. Okay, well, she said... She's running low on cash. She said that she was paying him, so that means they must have, you know... I mean, if she said it, that means there must have been some agreement for him to get paid, right? It doesn't mean she's going to keep her word. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess. I mean, if they she still hasn't even paid her lawyers. Yeah, yeah, I guess there's no contract involved. I don't know. I've never been an intern, so I don't know. I mean, when I get a job here, there's always a contract, you know, so. Yeah, I said, but she hasn't even paid her lawyers, so I'm not surprised right. she didn't pay her intern. Right, right, right. <clears throat> he acts more like a personal assistant. Well, anyway, let me get back to reading the comments here. I didn't know part two was out, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know. I'll give this probably mostly true. I would say. Right. Okay. This part two again, same one, same one. You're too good. Fishy, 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 making it stinky. Okay. What the heck was that? All right. So part two is getting around there. All right. Part two all over here. Wow. Can't believe I missed that. Wait, am I? Why is this repeating? Okay, I guess Wino was linking it for whoever missed it. So, yeah. 
You're a effing superhero. I adored respect you before. Now I have to triple that adoration and respect and throw in a dash of holy shit. I don't know how you survived that, but I am so glad you got away unscathed. Do you have nightmares? Shiver me timbers. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that is uh, some nightmare stuff, I would say. Oh, uh, Wizard left. Thank you so much, Wizard. I didn't realize you left, but I guess uh, I got tipped off by uh, Jam Price. Uh, I want to say hi to Laura B. I always yeah. run into her when I'm checking out the other channels and stuff. We always seem to be in the same ones. Yeah, Laura's everywhere. She's, she's doing some modding for uh, – she's been modding Tug for a long time, I think, too. So she gets around. She gets around. I love she's... going to Tug's channel, but my problem so, is she never looks at the comment section. Well, Oh, we got the Amber Heard playlist here, but I don't want anyone to be rude. I mean, you could, ha if you're there, you could put your opinion out there. Look, I'd rather just talk to people. So what's your opinion on this? Is this real? Is this fake? Have you heard it? Like, you might as well just talk to us if you're going to be here, you know? I think mm -hmm. Amber Heard playlist stops by my videos. So just at least say something. Everyone's, like, pretty nice, you know? Like, like um, Amber Heard fans say that, like, well, Johnny fans troll. They're so mean. No one's trolling. I think everyone here will be really cool to you just to talk about it. So, you know, don't I go around that's... saying, see, she's just spamming. Uh, or I think here. the first part of the uh, that video when they talk about the yeah, so It's just it... spam. So we got to We got to like block you if it's spam. If you want to actually say something, that's fine. If it's just spam, then just give her a time out. Fuck it. So, Laura, can you, like, give her a time out? Because she's just spamming now. If you want to say something real, we'll hear you out. Like, holy shit. But don't spam. Don't give me some drama over here. Look, spam, spam, spam. All right, I got to time her out because she's spamming. But uh, you could say Yeah, your, just, that is know, spamming. You could say your piece. No, everyone's listening. Johnny fans are mostly pretty nice. Uh, I don't even know where my live is. Here it is. Wait, I can't find it right now. Anyway, I guess, yeah, Laura did it. So I would want to, you know, if an Amber fan came here and wanted to have a conversation, I'm all for it. I wouldn't say one mean thing or even, you know, mention anything about, oh, I know the proof. Just what do you, what do you have to say? They don't have any, wait, was that possible? They, they don't have any like concrete evidence to really talk about stuff. Is I saying, oh, believe all women, and you know, if you don't believe Amber, you're setting back domestic violent victims and stuff like that. And it's just like, no, she was caught lying. She had a jury of ten people prove her wrong. <laughs> you know, Hold on. like she Could that have been possibly a bot, Could have been. like they say. Because oh, Johnny fans are bots, but then I get like the same spam six times, from, and maybe it was a bot. Maybe we got some proof it's a bot. Anyway, all right. <sighs> what sub on Reddit did you post that? Good question. Any that first heard subs worth looking at? Yeah, good question. They're out there. I've actually checked them once in a while. Sounds about right, especially mask. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Thank you for sharing. That's not easy. I believe every word you said because from what I've seen of her, that's exactly how she acts. I think it's hilarious. They said Nicole Kidman. Right, because she screams at people Aquaman if they don't I know heard, her. I heard but something like that before in another like interview. Like somebody else was talking about it, how uh she went to some this is like for like Aquaman one or something, and that uh people went to go see Nicole Kidman and she got kind of aggravated that they went towards Nicole Kidman instead of her. Mm -hmm. Like I've heard that before. So this kind of made me laugh when that came up in that first part of that video i'm like yeah that kind of shows her like she thinks she's a nicole kidman kind of level and she's not oh yeah i mean nicole kidman's not really big anymore but she was big in her time you know she was and a pretty good actress right she's not the a thing is, hat. chances she's are you're watching a nicole kidman movie before you're watching amber heard movie before any of this happened because you didn't know yeah. who amber was and yeah. I'm sorry, Nicole Kidman's acting is better than Amber's. Yeah, she's actually pretty good. I can't remember in detail, but I never remember saying like, oh, she sucks. She's only, you know, big just because she's hot or whatever. She seems like a good actress. So 
And she can sing. She's a good singer. Right, right. All right. Well, let's see what else we got down the line. No, no, whatever that is, I don't want to see it. Nope. Okay, so okay, people tag Matt Umbrella Guy and Popcorn Plan. I don't know if they cover this or not. Probably, I'd assume so. Yeah, they do. Um, they didn't Popcorn Planet meet Johnny Depp? I mean, covering this sound clip here. Oh, ah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I don't know. Anyway. Anywho. She's so desperately for recon. She's so desperate for recognition and fame that she would do anything. She really is an attention whore in every sense of the word. What an important person. All right. Yeah, fair enough. And, uh, well, that's just about it. Wow, what a great opportunity for you to travel and be in the film industry. Shame it was with Turd. She's a bitch and a nobody. It's time she realized that, as everyone else has. I hope I hope you had a better person next time, or I hope you have a better person next time they met. All right. Fair enough. We're pretty much through it now. So... Anyway, that's about the news. This is uh, pretty interesting, too. Guards at Prince Harry's Africa Conservation Charity face new killing and torture accusations. Not good, Harry. Not good. So, yeah. What is that? They're doing the electric slide or something? What? This? What? Yeah, what are they doing? It looks like a court. People dancing in court. Right, I thought it was a. I got it. There was a Senate Senate or something. It does. It looks like the Senate at first because of the shape of the room. Because I've never seen a courtroom that looks like that. People dancing in court, and I said they must be Democrats. And I think they are just because they don't look like Republicans to me or anything. Either that, they they just want a really big case, and it's the lawyers all dancing. Yeah. Well, (laughs) thank you, Marshall, for coming by. So you're going to chill at least another 10, 15 minutes or something. Yeah, this one was pretty good. Pretty good live here. Got like 75 people. Not so bad. Usually it's a little lower these days, but all right. Can't complain. Yeah, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Yes. Oh, I stand with Johnny trending. Here we go. Right now, Johnny trending. See what we got. Never seen this one before. It's all right. Picture. Not bad. All right. Here's Chris with Johnny Depp. Mm, whatever this is. Okay, that's Johnny with a bunch of people. Is that like an animal reserve? Kind of looks like it. I'm not sure. Okay, must be some kind of like um, business, like some kind of um, wildlife shop or something. Because everyone's got blue. Looks like they're, I mean, they. It's not a coincidence, I don't think. Everyone's got, like, blue right there. They must be working somewhere together. It could be a coincidence, but it would be pretty weird. Unless it's just, like, how they roll in that town. <laughs> right? People pointing this stuff out forever. It's got 3,700 views, and this this thing's been shown, like, hundreds of thousands of times. Same exact pictures, so it's pretty crazy. Ah, what did I just hit there? Oh, okay. What the heck? What the heck happened there? I just clicked off or something. I'm so silly. It's getting late here. It's like <laughs> almost one o'clock. Yeah, it is. I didn't even realize the time. I just know what to say now. Okay, yeah. yeah. But, oh, there it is. I got it. Okay. Johnny. I stand with Johnny Depp still trending. All right. That looks like a little bit of a samurai there. I think we're looking at the wrong picture. Hold on. I'm just out of Steam Yard now. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, everyone. I actually clicked myself off the live. I can't see anything, but now I'm back in the studio. Okay. Welcome back. Ah, oh, he clicked himself off. Hold on. How's everyone doing? Wait, I've got an echo, right? No, I hear you. You hear me fine? 
Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I hear you fine. I've got an echo on my side. Uh, I have headphones on. I don't hear any echoes. So. Okay. I guess I'll just <laughs> it, deal it might be because you're you don't have a headset. But yeah, you're back. All right. Sounds fine. See, I can't I can't remove myself here. It's really weird. Okay, how about now? How do I, I see sound? You. Well, you sound right. like you. <laughs> you don't sound like a robot. Cool. I oh, guess we'll just keep going. And I can't see X. I'm going to remove that from the studio and bring that. We're bigger. Now, now you can see my dolls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it looks a little messy back there. It looks like it's a little uh, goofy. No, nah, it's just the blankets folded up. All right. Let me get X back. I stand behind that. There it is. Okay. Are we moving now? Yeah. Great. I'm so bad. That was terrible. Johnny always prioritizes good work and relationships with cast and crew, and his recounting differs, differs greatly from the recollection of other members on set at the time. Right. Uh, thank you for stopping by, General. Nice to see you. I've never seen this one. Right, I was looking at this one. Kind of looks like a samurai in the sunset or something there. Yeah, that one looks really nice. Is that from the the ad uh, the what is it called? The one he did with Rihanna. I don't know. It looks like the same outfit. It's just you know what? Actually, I'm gonna screenshot that. I'm gonna use that sometime. Right, stuff still trending. It's a lot of the same stuff. To be honest, that's a pretty good one. I never seen that one. Yeah, that's when he was uh, entering the court and he turned around to greet the fans before going in. Yeah, that's uh, I was always like that suit. I think the whole UK case was worth, was worth it. Just that suit there, just for those set of pictures. Leave oh, Johnny. Nice. <laughs> Pretty serious one there. Never seen that one. That's a Dior ad. Yep, I just never seen it. I mean, I've, you've seen him dress like it a million times, but not quite like in that pose. Never seen that one. There's got to be a lot of photos out there. Never seen that either. And I'm not going to play it because it's music. And uh, yeah, I don't know. That's about it. I think we got to wrap it up because it's almost 1 a.m. here. Yeah, no party today. <laughs> What's that? I said no partying today. No, I don't really party anymore. Just some coffee and cleaning and making YouTube videos. Yeah, so. I gotta get some rest myself. I'm still battling COVID. I actually have a fever, but I can't sleep at the moment. So. Well, I can't help you, but I hope you get some sleep. Thanks. Yep, there's the Amber Blast again. Oh well. That was he sad. intimidated a witness. Prove it. Besides word of mouth, prove it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there were so many people on set, yet no yeah. one remembers this incident. Even the person who was the sound person working there said that didn't happen. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, prove it. Well, let's do some thanks. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Osaka Chilindal, for coming out. Susan, thank you. Linda, thank you. Ashley, thank you. Jan, always nice to see you. Liz, got the popcorn. Thanks to you. Bernice, thank you so much for the membership. Soundgarden, Nikki, let me try to get as many people as I can. General P, I think you're gone though. Sound Surgeon, thank you so much. Lewis, thank you so much. Uh, Wizard, just the number. And Laura B, of course, South Florida. Jan Price, minus and twice. I'm moving real fast. Cindy Bryden, first time. For you thank you so much and astrid might have missed you thank you astrid zen thank you zen i guess thank you the universe for the algorithm i kind of appreciate it but not really and Linda, hey, the, the bots right yes that's true that could be watching the wheels and that's about it i'm tired guys really appreciate it 
Do you have any last words? Uh, have a safe and wonderful Easter for everyone who celebrates it. And uh, continue to return to this channel and subscribe and like all of John's videos. And if you want, you can come check out my videos too. Yeah. <laughs> so you have a good evening. You too. All right, guys, I'm out. If you're not subscribed to consider it. Some of you watching, okay, take two. If you're not subscribed, consider it. Some of you guys watching now might not be subscribed because we got like 70 people, so please do. Um, thank you, Nam. A little bit late because I got to go. See you next time.